So we want to find out what it takes for governments and administrations in African countries to function optimally. In doing so, we support efforts in African countries to strengthen what are known as public values in administrations. So that is the contribution that an organization makes to the common good of society. This also means understanding existing principles of creating and delivering public values from non-Western perspectives. So it is important to capture the diversity of African administrations, understand best practices inspired by local customs and offer insights by conducting several case studies. The African Union Agenda 2063 emphasizes the need to build strong administrations for developing African countries and enable development-oriented and visionary leadership in all areas and at all levels. So, the goal is to establish what is known as good governance. This requires empirical studies that produce knowledge that can be applied to public administrations. By drawing on knowledge sources from the social sciences, we conduct research from a perspective that values and incorporates local and ethnic factors. We take into consideration both local customs and traditions and current social transformations. For example, we are investigating how the public administration of the African multi-ethnic island state of Mauritius plans and sets up a public transport system. As researchers, we show how the different cultural demands of the affected groups of actors can and should be addressed in such a specific context. Well, in order to contribute to an understanding of common good oriented governance in Africa, we want to work with employees and local public administrations. This will enable the rapidly growing field of public administration to be developed in a targeted manner. In addition, our results should help to reduce stereotypes and prejudices about public administration in Africa. In the future, we'd like to offer continuing education courses on site to ensure knowledge transfer of local authorities. We want to focus on using new technologies such as artificial intelligence in African contexts, however. Furthermore, we want to show how ethical principles such as data protection fairness, security, accessibility, and accountability for African authorities must be reconsidered from non-Western perspectives. What fascinates us about the work that we do is the possibility to collaborate among researchers based in Switzerland from the Center for Public Management at the University of Bern and researchers based in Mauritius at the Mauritius campus of Middlesex University. On top of this, we are able to collaborate with African and international researchers who specialize in Africa and who enrich our webinar or lecture series by presenting their studies. It is also encouraging and rewarding that our collaborative work is interdisciplinary. For example, the three of us who co-founded CASP we come from different disciplines. I studied international relations, Imam Din deals specifically with public administration, and Amr specializes in digital technologies. Additionally, our work is transdisciplinary because knowledge sources that we use, they come from the professional practice of social and government actors that remain relevant to the work that we do. sufficient resources. So far we have done our work for CASP as postdoctoral researchers and lecturers at our universities. We are currently working on a large application for research funding to strengthen our research activities and expand our network with scientists from other African universities. In preparation for the planned research project, we have already received support from various funding programs at the University of Bern for young scientists. Our long-term goal is to is to establish CASP as a self-sustaining research center.